Hello Libras, what's going on? It's Prado G and I'm here with a general collective reading for your sign. I'm so grateful that you decided to click on this video today. If you are a returning viewer, oh my God, super, super duper appreciation vibes going towards you. And if you are new here, I definitely appreciate you too for just giving me a chance and giving this reading a chance. And I pray that there are some beautiful and very helpful messages that come about for you today. Take whatever resonates for you and leave behind what does not resonate for you for another Libra. This is general and collective. And if your birthday is between September 23rd and October 22nd, then you my lovely friend, our Libra. If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, or rising, this reading may or may not resonate for you. And it can. But most likely it will on some level. But let's see. What shows up today? We got, ooh, two. So shout out to my October 2nd and my October 4th and 13th babies. Because we got two and 13. So, hmm. I'm thinking about some sort of partners and stability. There could be some stability and partnerships or some sort of duality, some balance that's needed. Um, there can be a need for communication, I feel, especially with this orange and blue showing up. So when I see orange, I think of your sacral chakra, which is about intimacy and creativity. And two, I mean, blue is all about your expression from the throat, like what you say, what you speak. It's like your throat chakra, blue. So... And two, you know, you got to be able to communicate when you are in a partnership or a connection with others or with someone else that's just not you. Um, also, I just feel like there is a lot of stability to come out of this. If you can be intimate, if you can remain creative and, you know, converse when need to. <laughs> like when you need to talk, talk, talk it out, talk it out. All right. Now. We got cherry showing up. Oop, see, yeah, it's a really cherry energy. I'm feeling like, cheers, right? Like, yes, partnerships. It could be people coming together, Mary. Um, you could have got married recently or something like that. But I feel like not for everybody, but live an extraordinary life. I'm not saying not for everybody to not live an extraordinary life. I'm saying not for everybody they recently got married. But somebody could be married watching this. Now, let me slow down before I get a little too ahead of myself. I'm feeling cheery, okay? <laughs> but live an extraordinary life. I don't know. Somebody could love like like cherries a lot. Libra, you like them cherries? It's like, I don't know. I feel like the cherry is about to be on top for you on this ice cream, this extravagant life that you're about to be living on. It says live an extraordinary life. So yeah, it's definitely giving that something cheerful energy. I'm getting cheerful energy. Yellow, purify your body. There's a need for you to purify. Yellow is all about purity. Um, purification, I, I think of your solar plexus chakra, the sun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely stomach acid vibes is giving. But, oh, two, two, two. Y'all see that? How far is that? Y'all yeah, see that? Two, two, two. Anyways, purify your body. Coming up in the future, there might be a very strong need or desire to detoxify your body, do a detox, a cleanse, or something like that. But, yeah. 22 equals 4. 1 plus 3 equals 4. So y'all see the alignment. It's showing up there definitely for sure. But yellow and red is giving cherry color red, yellow um, energy. So y'all might want to wear those colors a lot. Those colors could be very prominent in your experience right now. But I feel like um, living an extraordinary life is what's about to happen for somebody, some Libra. Like, I, I feel like in the past, in the near, uh, not so far past, you decided to choose to live a more extraordinary life. Like, you decided to be more cheery. Therefore, now you are opening yourself up to more stable connections with others and things like that. Yes, you're opening yourself up. The coffin in reverse is all about opening up what was once closed off, what might have been dead, now coming back to life. Something resurfacing, definitely, too, for some of my Libras. But I feel like it's something that makes you cheery, though. An occupation, maybe you could be releasing a job or something like that. Maybe what you used to do, you no longer want to do anymore. You're just not in alignment with it. And you're choosing to live an extraordinary life. Like, you're choosing to leave your job. Like, somebody chose to leave their job in the past. It's like you opened up and became a different version of yourself. It's like you you brought 
a new version of yourself that was probably dead or like closed off boxed in because we you know we all live in the limitations of society L live within the limitations of society so it could be really hard for us to um be doing the things that we really want to be doing sometimes we find ourselves doing things that we don't want to be doing so i feel like somebody definitely came up out of that um and is busy doing something else which is living an extraordinary life but there is some change that needs to be made um nine is very significant it's showing up again because it showed up here with cherry life and i feel like there's a change that still needs to be made either for some of my libras you're doing something that could be holding you back it's like you could the thing that you're you're working on your job or something like that really needs to change and you might find security in that but it's like, I feel like somebody made a vow to themselves in the past to be like, I'm not going to be doing this forever. I know that it's more to my life. Like, I want to live more extraordinarily. I can't keep on living like this. And courthouse showing up in reverse. Somebody is avoiding the courthouse. <laughs> or um, can soon be um, in the future. I feel like the courthouse in reverse is like, Either you could be trying to stay out of the courthouse because you always find yourself in a courthouse. It's like, no, I'm do I'm taking a different route now in life. Like, I'm really not trying to be in and out of these court systems or whatever. Like, it's time for you to change. It's like, it's time for a change in location. Like, it really is. Like, look at this car in reverse. Somebody might be needing a car. <clears throat> but... At the end of the day, this courthouse energy is showing up and it could be like something that really, it, it doesn't have to be a bad thing, but look, bad health is at the bottom of the deck. So it's something that you could be worried about in the courthouse, but you got to be mature with this situation, mature woman. It could also be a mature woman that comes through and helps you, but this is what we got so far now. I'm going to leave that here with the Kipper deck, but I see mm, a coffin in reverse occupation everything is in reverse except for mature women so i feel like all my late uh libra women up here in the near future you're going to be handling things so much more maturely and um even for my male libras that's watching too because it's not about gender but i see mature women here so i feel like you could just be in contact with a woman or getting in tune with your feminine aspect maturing wise handling what you need to handle in terms of this courthouse you might be afraid I do feel like you might be afraid of what you might hear, <clears throat> but don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Make sure that you stay pure in your thoughts. Purify your thoughts. That's a part of purifying your body as well. Like your body isn't completely purified for real if you are not purifying your thoughts. Now, let's not forget that, all right? <laughs> but now we're going to get into the details with the tarot and I'm going to clarify each card and get more details protect this message for all of my lovely Libras. So much love, peace, and prosperity here. Let's clarify these messages because I want to know what this is about. Like I said, y'all, take what resonates for y'all. It could be like, um, you might be changing a court system, changing your where you go to court. You might be needing to change the courthouse that you're going to i don't know could be a lot of things going on here in the upcoming future but i do feel like avoiding the courthouse is definitely on someone's mind it's just like who wants to go to court that is lame. like ugh. anyways first card to jump out we got is the seven of swords so this is definitely somebody moving in silence this is secrets secrets um which will be exposed but i feel like this could be a loss of a peace of mind like you're just not happy um mentally air sign energy definitely this is um giving it could be an aquarius too that you're affected by um something it could be like them coming in with some sort of communication but slick you know what i mean in a really subtle sneak way because look at this group of people back there and this person is like trying to be a little bit you know incognito about his moves about their moves but it's like a dark cloud over this head so it could be something that you're you're really dwelling on and it's something that you need to release and let out what else is showing up 
Clarify occupation in reverse, yeah. Five of Wands is all about conflicts with other people. It could be in the workplace. This is probably why somebody wants to leave their job. One of my Libras wants to leave what it is that you're doing, what you're um, occupying your time with in terms of because it, it just feels like competition. It feels like very aggressive energy coming from this occupation for some people also i feel like you got to be ambitious about what it is that you're doing and if you're not ambitious about it then you you really should stop wasting your time right and walk away from anything that is not bringing you into this cherry emotion where you don't feel like if you feel like you're not living an extraordinary life that's because what are you doing how are you reflecting outwardly to the world with what it is that you're occupying your time with, what it is that you're manifesting? Because with the wands, I always think of manifestation and creation. Creation. And then the renewal card came out. Okay, judgment card. Reviewing the past with compassion. All right. You got to be willing to change. Change the past as need, as needed. Move past the past, you know. Don't be resisting this change. This is the renewal. This is the judgment call. This is the, your higher calling here, ready to renew you. But how can you be renewed if you will not change? But in your heart, you know what to do. This is about clarity on your life purpose. I feel like somebody's life purpose is like you're changing your job because you feel like it's not your life purpose. Like, I'm not supposed to be doing this. But you're afraid, in a sense, to... Either lose something. But I see the Three of Cups showing up in reverse. This could be... Um, wow. Somebody taking you to court in your friend group. Somebody. That's what I feel like. It could be like... Um, news that you ain't really trying to celebrate it's like i'm not happy about this news this is not i don't i did not want this news coming from the courthouse so just be very mindful of how you handle the situation because it could be from someone that's really close to you too but just be um mindful of just be mindful of how you handle your emotions in this time if you are if you do find yourself going to court because of like I said somebody that's close to you because that can be very annoying. It's giving water sign energy too with this three of cups. So heavy on the cancer, but yeah, I just feel like there was a fallout, a fallout that could be leading to a court situation for some people. But ultimately, um, just doing what's just. Make sure that you are doing what's just. Because the courthouse in reverse, I just feel like that's just... When I see a courthouse in reverse, I'm just thinking of either faulty behavior where it's supposed to be legitimate. And there's definitely a need for some pure purification. Because I feel toxicity in this, in this situation for somebody. If it's even in your own courthouse... Like, think of courthouses like your court your quarters like the people that you have in your house like the people that's around you like be mindful of how y'all are maneuvering how the people around you are maneuvering because i feel like there's some sort of toxicity going on here yeah look another mm, water energy and reverse this is giving daddy a dad or something water sign scorpio pisces or cancer and there's a need to be mature about this situation here because this energy is very untrustworthy, not devoted, not cautious, emotionally abusive, or even depressed, right? This could be a sadness due to a fallout. This could be the cancer too that I was talking about. They could be immature, you know, lacking in um, maturity as a male. Like they just act like a big baby boy, even though they grown as hell, <laughs> they old. They older, they could be an older individual. But I do feel that it's a, it, you definitely gonna have to be very mature in this situation. In this situation, you're gonna have to handle it maturely. And you can't just be 
acting irrational just because they are. Don't let that energy rub off onto you, okay? You are air sign too. That's another thing, Libra. And I only see one air sign card here, and that's that seven of <clears throat> swords energy. So it's just like, you know, you want to be very mindful. Open up a little bit. Be honest with yourself too, because I feel self-deception here. It's like somebody could be deceiving them, their own self. Libra, you could be deceiving your own self. But let's get some clarity. Cleverte. All right, we got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Somebody not realizing their potential. You feel like you don't have a grip on your manifestation powers or what's being created for you here. And this is past energy, so there's no telling that you still feel this way. But I, I feel like you were given an opportunity and you could have missed out on it or you didn't utilize it in the past. God gave you... A, a opportunity to make things right to create something and maybe you did not create something that you felt really allowed you to be free or to that it just wasn't really in line in alignment with your spiritual will or like what you what spirit had <laughs> In mind for you. Oh, Jeremy showing up twice here. Yeah, conflict. Yeah. Okay, be proper. Oh, judging. Be mindful of how you are judging people at your workplace, too. Or, like, they might be judging you a certain way, but oh, well. Like, you don't have to be a reflection of their energy. But look at this. The three of wands in reverse is definitely um, a lack of ambition or meeting goals. It's like a lack of vision here not seeing the potential out there for you there's so much more out there for you look at this person it's like they're on the horizon looking outward into the sea waiting for a ship to come in but in reverse it's like you could be not doing that you might not even be looking outwardly forwardly uh, but there's a need for you too especially you just pay attention to how you are occupying your energy and time stop giving so much energy and time to things that's not serving you wow the seven of swords showed up again this is the second time it showed up in the reading and it came under to clarify the change and renewal so the change and renewal that is definitely needed here what's going to renew you is being very much honest with yourself coming out of this sneaky energy exposing the truth whatever it is that you did in the past whatever it is that you need to come clean with it's time for you to release that so that make so look you can stop judging yourself so harshly and so that you can be more open and Stop hurting yourself and holding yourself back from experiencing true mental peace. Like I don't I don't feel mental peace here with that uh seven of swords energy, but it showing up in reverse definitely gives me belief that you have um you're going to make proper judgment to come out of that. Like you're going to release this whatever it is that you need to change, whatever is affecting you mentally, whatever loss that you've been holding on to whatever th thoughts limiting thoughts whatever embarrassing secrets whatever you know like coming out of that that's what needs to change that's what you are changing within that's what's going to help you live that extraordinary life with the oh high priestess see yep this is secrets being revealed you listen into your intuition tapping into the spirit realm receiving some sort of spiritual guidance it could be from a tarot reader or something like that or somebody um Somebody, oh, being wise, just listening to your intuition in this time. If you are going to the courthouse, if you are dealing with these people who are putting you in this toxic situation, be very mindful, stay connected to spirit, be patient, be patient. That's what I hear with the, with the high priestess. It's like you're a high priestess. So honestly, you got to hold, you're held to higher standards. You probably even hold your own self to higher standards here. Listen to your intuition, though. What is your spirit telling you? How do you feel about this situation? King of Pentacles showing up to clarify this. Mature woman and the King of Cups. So, I do feel here, this is a, a very stable energy. This is like uh, financial success, fulfillment, um, generosity at its finest, the Midas touch. Yeah, you're the gold king, right? Riches. I feel like somebody could be very much coming into this energy with a earth sign. 
somebody that's ready to provide uh, financial security for them. However, they might not be there completely emotionally, right? They might be emotionally immature or imbalanced. So be mindful, be mature of how you handle this situation. This could also be you stepping up to the plate and taking that leadership role in your life, regaining your um, financial legacy, balancing it out. I just feel like a financial, I feel rich energy. That's like the richest king in the deck. So yeah, when I see the king of pentacles, I'm thinking money, 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 well and stable, generous. So just keep those vibes, y'all. Keep those pure vibes radiating. And I pray that you resonated with this reading on some level, some way, shape, or form. Just be mindful of your spirit, of what you see for yourself. Get clear in your vision. Don't allow other people to project their conflicts onto you at the workplace or wherever you might find yourself. Change as needed. Okay, make proper judgments to be honest with yourself. Come out of that self-deception. Release any sort of embarrassing secrets that might be creating toxicity within your own body. And, um... To toxicity within your relationships to other people those need to be released too but be patient with yourself all right you are a work in progress and um you are loved regardless so peace love and prosperity